Welcome everyone, I will let you add enter DFU mode on any iPod Touch. So first of all, you're going to need to plug in your iPod to the computer. So I'm going to do that now. And make sure that the charging cable you're using is Lightning to USB Type-A. If it's USB Type-C, which is like the really small cable, then this guide will not work for you. The reason why is because those cables, I don't know why, but they just don't let you enter DFU mode. So if you're wondering why this isn't working, that's why. So the next step, the process is slightly different for the iPod Touch you're using, but for most iPod Touches, what you're going to do is follow. So uh, we're going to hold down the power and home button until we see a black screen. Then we're going to count to two. So one, two, and then we're going to release the power button, but keep on holding down the home button. So I'm going to walk this through with you guys. So power and home. I'm going to hold it down. Once I see the black screen, I'm going to count to two. One, two, and release the power button, but keep on holding the home button down. So if you do this too quickly, you're going to see the Apple logo. And if you do this too slowly, you're also going to see the Apple logo. However, you're going to hold down the home button for around 10 seconds or so. And once, uh, you know, see 10 seconds has passed. Once you release it, it should stay in this black screen. And now once you've done this on the computer, your uh, iPod Touch will be recognized in DFU mode and you can, you know, factory reset it. That's what this is meant for. However, on the newer iPod Touches, they changed the process. So you know how I was holding down the home button? If this guy wasn't working for you and you didn't see a black screen after holding power and home button together, instead, you're going to hold down power and volume down together. And then once you see the black screen, you're going to hold, uh, you're going to uh, count to two and then you can release the power button. But instead of holding down the home button, you're going to keep on holding down the volume down button. I don't know why Apple changed this with the new iPod touches, especially because they look the same as the old ones. However, this is what Apple has done. So if you have the new iPod touches, or this just wasn't working for you, you just use power and volume down instead. So what I'm going to do finally is I'm just going to show you how it looks like in the few mode. So you can see here, uh, this is my laptop. You will need iTunes if you're on Windows, but you can see here. I was going to say recovery mode, however, you can see there's no option to check for update. So usually if you're in recovery mode, you have the option to update the software. However, we only have the option to restore the iPod Touch. And the reason why is because we are in DFU mode. And you can see I'm using the USB Type-A cable, not USB-C. USB-C looks like that port here. This is USB Type-A. Uh, USB-C does not work. So you can see it's plugged in. And um, yeah, everything's fully working. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.